Hi friends, I'm Cassidy. Today I'll be sharing a yoga class with you so that you can calm your mind and stretch out your body. So let's get started. We're going to start our yoga practice today in a strong standing mountain pose. Mountain pose is a fancy name for a not so fancy pose. Just stand up nice and tall and we'll take it from there. First things first, look down at your feet. Good. Spread them apart a little bit so that they're right in line with your shoulders. Wiggle the toes around and then press the feet firmly into the ground. Then take a hand and place it above your head and pretend like somebody is pulling up your head by a string. And that'll make you stand up as tall as you possibly can. Good. You can drop that hand. Then we're going to lift the shoulders all the way up to the ears. Take a deep breath in. And on your breath out, release the shoulders away from the ears. Good. And that's it. That's our mountain pose. So it's pretty simple because we're just standing here, but we're standing up tall and strong, kind of like a mountain. So from here, we're just gonna close our eyes. And we're gonna find our deep yoga breaths. So we breathe all the time, but how often do you really think about your breath? That's one thing that yoga teaches us how to do. So let's set up that yoga breath. Bring a hand right over your belly. Take a deep breath in through the nose and we'll count to one, two, three. Hold your breath at the top. Then we're gonna breathe out back through the nose for three, two, one. Good, let's try that a few more times. So you should feel the belly filling up with air when we breathe in and you wanna let all of that air go on the breath out. So take a breath in for one, two, three, hold it at the top, and breathe out for three, two, one. Good. Remember that breath is coming in and out through the nose. Let's try one more just like that. Breathe in for one, two, three, hold your breath, and then breathe out for three, two, one. Okay, so on this next breath, we're going to try something a little different. So breathe in through the nose for one, two, three, and then open the mouth and sigh it out. <sighs> Make that as noisy as you can, and then just open the eyes. Good. From here, we're going to spread the feet out nice and wide. We're going to come into our star pose. So reach the arms up creating this star shape with your body. Your hands, your feet, and your head are all points on this star. Take a big breath in. Then we're going to bend the knees and brush the floor with our hands, then come all the way back up. Good. So watch me do it once. Inhale. Find your star pose. Exhale. Brush the ground. Good. Breathe in and come back up. So we're going to pretend like we're sweeping the floor each time. Good. So meet in our star pose. Take a big breath in. And on your breath out, bend the knees and brush the ground. Good. Breathe in and come all the way back up. Let's try that twice more. Inhale for star pose. Exhale. Bend the knees. Brush the ground. Inhale. Reach through the arms. Make the biggest star you can. Good. Exhale. Brush the ground. Good. Breathe in and come all the way back to star pose. Then just drop the hands by the sides and bring the feet right back under the shoulders, coming back to that mountain pose. So we've been here before. You guys know what this looks like. Pretend like somebody is pulling up on your head with that string. Good. Relax the shoulders. So this is our mountain pose. And we're going to try some balancing now. So look down and pick a foot, either foot. Then pretend like that foot is growing tree roots all the way into the ground below you. Then we're gonna slowly kick the other foot right out in front of us. Try to just hold that for three, 
two, one. Good, let's switch sides. So look down, pick the other foot, and we're gonna grow those tree roots down through that other foot. Then we're gonna slowly lift and hold that other leg up for three, two, one. Nice, and if you got a little wobbly, that is okay, I do it all the time. So now that we know how to grow our tree's roots, we're gonna try tree pose. So pick a foot and pretend like those tree roots are going into the ground. Then we're gonna bring the other foot just to this little kickstand. So look at me, you can see that my other foot is just coming into that kickstand shape. And you can stay here, or maybe you try to bring that foot off of the ground and attach it to the other leg, just like this. Good. Either way, you choose. And remember those deep yoga breaths? Now is a really good time to try to take some of those big deep breaths. Maybe from here you want to try growing your branches up to the sky. Maybe you pretend like it's a windy day and your tree is swaying from side to side. You choose what your tree looks like today. Good. Let's switch sides. So release that leg, release the arms, and just shake everything out. Good, let it all go. Moving on to the other side, come back to your mountain pose. Good, so pick whatever foot grew its roots last time and then pick the other foot. So we're growing our roots down through the other foot this time. And then we're gonna pick up the other foot and bring it into that little kickstand. Remember, just like last time, so those toes are still on the ground. Option to stay right here or you choose what kind of tree you want to be. So maybe that foot attaches to the other leg. Maybe you grow your branches. Maybe you wanna try swaying from side to side. Let's hold our tree pose for another three, two, one, and release, shake it all out, wiggle it all out. Good, back to our mountain pose. Good, breathe in and reach the arms all the way to the sky. Breathe out and fold all the way over and see how close you can come to touching your toes. This is called a forward fold. Shake your head yes, shake your head no. Then take a breath in and bring the arms all the way back up. Then we just release the hands by the sides back to mountain pose. You guys are probably getting good at mountain pose by now. So from here, let's find some neck stretches. So bring the neck over to one shoulder then back to center, then over to the other shoulder, and back to center. Let's try that again. Shoulder and up, shoulder and up. One more time. Good, head comes to a shoulder, back to center, shoulder, and back to center. Good, then we're gonna look down, come back to center, then look up, come back to center. Let's take a couple more like that. Look down, center, look up, center. Once more, look down, center, look up, center. Good. Let's move on to some shoulder rolls. So we're gonna roll the shoulders towards the front. Take nice big rolls here like you're drawing circles with your shoulders. Pretend like they can come all the way up to the ears every time. Let's take a few more big circles towards the front. Good, and then just come back to center, back to mountain pose. And then let's switch directions and roll the shoulders towards the back. Make those nice big circles for four, three, two, and one. Good, from here, let's bring the hands together right in front of the heart. This is called our heart center in yoga. Close your eyes. We're gonna take a big breath in through the nose. Hold it at the top, then sigh it all out. <sighs> Remember, you can be loud. <sighs> now we're gonna practice saying some mantras. So mantras might not sound familiar to you, but mantras are just little statements that start with, I am. So I'm gonna say a mantra and I want you to silently repeat it back to yourself in your head. Let's try the first one. I am 
Awesome. Nice. Let's do a couple more. It's as simple as that. I am strong. I am smart. I am powerful. Now I challenge you to see how awesome, strong, smart, and powerful you can be for the rest of your day. Thank you for joining me for yoga class. And we always like to end our yoga classes by saying namaste. So let's try saying it together. Namaste. Bye, yogis.